Okay guys, quick little video here on atomic bomb stuff. I've been sitting in the tub like 45 minutes. I still have bubble. 45 minutes later, the bubbles still have not dissipated. They've gone down, you know, a considerable amount considering that I've played with Play-Doh in the tub. I have, you know, I'm playing with other products, things like that. So, you know, the little beads of oil that you're seeing like from like the Play-Doh stuff and stuff, because that's really got a lot of moisture in it. Um, the Play-Doh stuff is awesome. I fucking love that shit. Uh, we will go into the Etsy website and see how the bubbles have just like somewhat diminished here. That is so fucking awesome. I still have bubbles after 45 minutes. Uh, we were going through her Etsy website and I had, I was confused for a minute there. She was selling her recipe for the Play-Doh stuff and for, um, she's also, she also has her recipe for the solid bubble bars for sale on there. And the most coolest thing in the world that I was looking at, because I was reading through all her reviews... And the coolest thing in the world is that I saw a picture of solid bubble bars that were made by the Ticklish Giraffe. So the company, the Ticklish Giraffe, has purchased the recipe for the solid bubble bars from Atomic Bomb. So just to like give you a little heads up on like how good this fucking company is, other companies are purchasing her recipe. Like, you know, I mean, like, Ticklish Giraffe is a pretty decent company right now. They're pretty, they got a lot of volume going. There's a lot of hype about them, a lot of talk about them. Um, they're all over YouTube. They're all over Instagram. And she purchased her um, reusable bubble bar recipe from Tammy. And she's got a she's got a comment, right? You can go right into the reviews right on the Etsy and hit read all the reviews. Go all the way down and you can see the couple from Ticklish Giraffe. So, like, even she's gotten her stuff from Tammy. So, like, this shit, man, this place is... This is great. Like, you know, I mean, this is going straight to the source to get your stuff. But, uh, yeah, hell yeah, Tammy, if you ever get a minute, um, I want a list of everything you have. Because I want to drop another order immediately. Like, I'm talking, like, immediately I want to drop another order as fast as I can. Um, shipping was outrageously fast on this, coming from Canada to New York. So, uh, yeah, I definitely want a freaking order. So, somehow drop me a list of whatever you got. Um, I definitely want a Diva Bomb. Uh, a couple other bombs. Uh, I want another Snowball. Uh, I want another Secret Garden Soap, because, holy shit, I love this stuff. And I'm gonna need some more Play-Doh. Because, not only does Boogie enjoy, like, doing sensory play, where he's just smushing it in his hands... But, um, after I washed him with the sample soap you sent, I scrubbed his butt with it. Because I wanted him to smell like bubble gum. <laughs> so I made him smell like bubble gum. I scrubbed his head, his shoulders, everything with it. So he smells like bubble gum now. Um, I've never, you know, I've never had, like, the most amazing bubble gum scent. And I've tried other bubble gum scented products. Holy shit, that is, that is perfect stuff. Like, that is the gum that we all grew up with as kids. That, like, me and Crystal used to run down to the corner mm -hmm. store and get the bubble tape and... Yeah, um, like, it smells better than Bazooka Joe. It smells like the, the pink round bubble tape container. But when we were kids, it wasn't that container. It was different. But, uh, I mean, you know, because we're fucking old thoughts apparently, and everything's changed. Um, and none of these kids nowadays know what fucking phone cords are. Yeah. <laughs> they don't know how to get up off their ass and fucking touch the TV to change the channel. Could you imagine if they had like, those little rotary phones that kids had to use nowadays? They'd be looking at the, like, at six Oh, you want to hear something eyes. cute? I actually watched a YouTube video of a guy at a hotel with his wife and daughter. And he handed the phone to his daughter and said, here, hang this up. And the girl would be like nine years old. And she goes... How? And she was literally turning it around and looking at it, looking for the number pad to push. Like the, you know, the touch screen to shut off the phone. It was a phone that you hang up with a cord and everything. Uh, majority of my viewers are up around the same age area as me, so you guys all know what I'm talking about. But for any of you youngins out there that watch this channel, um, telephones used to have long-ass cords. Good. You could not go anywhere with them. They did not hook onto a little piece on your belt and run around with you. They did not have video cameras. And the first cell phone was about the size of your foot, okay? It was, that, it was bigger than your foot. It was huge. It was like from, say, from the, the bottom of the bubble, the top of the bubbles right here, uh, to about that yay high. And it had a long-ass antenna on it. It was really, really ridiculously huge. And then they came out with smaller ones that had a small little piece that you would flip open and then dial the numbers. And there was no texting like there was nowadays where you can actually just text from a keyboard. No, you had to push the same fucking number over and over and over again until you got that letter. But, um, yeah, we had it hard, man, when we were kids. Yeah. <laughs> These kids nowadays, man, they don't know how good they got it. 
Yeah, and we had to learn how to write cursive, which is script. Which now they did away with numbers. that. Yeah, we had to memorize phone numbers too. That sucked. Okay. Uh -huh. But I wanted to jump on here and I wanted to talk to you guys and tell you is that um, I went straight to the source, man. Like I am so excited. Like Tammy is like the source. <laughs> So I went straight to Atomic Bomb and I got products from her and yeah, I went to the source. Uh, people are buying her recipe to launch their items. Uh, I was really like, I was blown away that I saw Ticklish Giraffe wrote a review on how good the uh, recipe was for the solid bubble bar. So she has, uh, so far what I've seen is I've seen two recipes for sale on her site and also she has products on her site, but definitely get in contact with her. She does have lots of products that she doesn't have on the site right now, but get in contact with her, just ask her, you know, talk to her for a little bit. She does amazing custom orders, things like that. But uh, there's always bling bombs on the site, though, so you can always get your hands on a bling bomb. And, I mean, I'm telling you, worth every fucking penny it is everything all in one. Jewelry, bubbles, beautiful show, beautiful color, and a beautiful feel. Like, I mean, I'm still, 45 minutes later, I'm still sitting here loving this. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I just wanted to make sure that I jumped on and gave you that little tidbit that I found that I got all excited about. But hell yeah, Ticklish Giraffe bought the recipe for their solid bubble bars from Tammy. Um, I feel so excited now. I, I cut out the middle, man. I snuck around and I got straight to the sauce. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I won something, you know? <laughs> But anywho, yeah, all you guys that are commenting saying you gotta try it, she had an amazing presentation, amazing product, and she is an awesome fucking person. Definitely jump on. Atomic Bomb Bath and Body. Just awesome fucking shit. And yes, thank you. I'm sharing a cigarette right now with Crystal, so. House guest from hell. The house guest from hell. Yeah. <laughs> my house guest from hell is not feeling good right now. She pulled her shoulder. Um... But yeah, oh my god, I gotta get some uh, some lip balms from her. I gotta, definitely, I definitely gotta order some lip balm. She's got the cutest lip balm and lip scrub set on the Etsy site right now. Jump on the Etsy site, I'm gonna link it down below for you guys. But jump on the site and go check it out. She has got the cutest, it is so fucking cute, it's unreal. It's little cupcakes. And it's small enough to fit in your makeup bag. So it is so fucking adorable. I mean, it's, I wanna order a couple. Actually, you know something, I'm gonna order two of them. One for myself. Um, maybe I might order three of them, so I can get one for the house guests from hell. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm gonna order some of them, and, uh, we might, we might, uh, give away one of those sets, because that is a cool fucking set, and I think it's so fucking cute and so practical, and you gotta try this shit, because oh. my lips have never felt so fucking good. <laughs> You're going to bed? Yeah. Alright, good night. I love you. Love you too. Alright. Sorry, guys. Oh, Yes, don't forget your keys, don't forget to get into your bedroom downstairs. No, no, no. Whoa. She's got like a separate entrance to her bedroom. Uh, mm -hmm. I have like a like a storefront downstairs, which is now just like my furnished basement. And uh, it's her bedroom right now, while she's visiting. Um, and she might be visiting for a while. <laughs> I don't know, we don't know when House Guest from Hell is going to leave. Uh, so far it seems like she's kind of enjoyed her uh, stay and she don't want to go. Uh, I don't mind though, she's not a bad house guest, she's pretty good to me. Uh, she'll, you know, she'll come up, make me dinner, things like that. Um... Uh, she comes up and hangs out with me all day long anyway, and you know, except for when she's at work. But otherwise than that, she's pretty cool. Uh, don't really have any complaints about her, except for she uh, is one of those people that will clean and then put all your shit away and hide it from you and not tell you where it is. So, <laughs> like, uh, I have a deodorant problem to where I have to have, like, six to eight deodorants in my possession and be able to see them at all times. So if you're ever watching a video and you look on my dresser and there's, like, fucking six deodorants lined up there... It's just like a weird thing. Like I have a lot of those like weird idiosyncrasy things, I guess you call them. And I gotta have a messload of soaps, a messload of deodorants, and like like toiletry products. I have to have them, or I feel very uncomfortable, and I start wigging out and get really antsy. So I make sure I have all these products lined up. Like even like you know like feminine hygiene products. Like I I make sure I have more than one. Otherwise I'll feel like oh my god, what if the apocalypse happens and I can't get my hands on any more? So I freak. Uh, she likes to put my deodorants away so they're not being seen and then not tell me where she put them and I had a panic attack one day trying to hunt all my deodorants down that I had put in order of which ones I'd like to use on what day and she wouldn't tell me for a few hours and actually uh, made me panic and <laughs> then started giggling about it and then tell me where they were. So uh, that's my only complaint with her right now is that she uh, hides my shit and messes up my stuff but uh, otherwise than that she's pretty awesome. But I definitely got to get my hands on the lip scrub and lip balm kit. That is the cutest fucking thing in the world. It looks like two little cupcakes. 
It's the cutest fucking thing in the world. Um, it looks like a contact lens case, but it's cupcakes with one little lip scrub on one side and a lip balm on the other side. It's so fucking cool. Like, I, I gotta get them. And I definitely gotta get one to do for a giveaway for you guys, because somebody's gotta win that and just enjoy that. Because, I mean, her products are so fucking amazing. I wish I could, like, buy them all and, like, hand them out to all of you. Um, I'm just, I'm just, I ain't that wealthy. <laughs> I just don't have it like that. Um, but definitely, all you guys that say you want to try the company the whole nine, I have never been this strong, like, I never felt this strongly about a company before, and not only because she's cool and we talk to her on here and everything, because the product is worth every bit. I mean, to the point to where, you know, I think she should do a monthly box. I really do. Tammy, you ever thought about it? I would go with a monthly box. You know, I would definitely, like, lavish charges almost, what, like, 40 bucks or something like that. So, I mean, I would go with a monthly box and every month set out boxes because that, I, I'd buy it. I'd, I'd jump on the subscription in a heartbeat. I really would. And I'm kind of leery about prescription, like, subscription boxes with soap stuff. Just because I think you can get more for your money and get the certain, get the products that you particularly want. But I don't think for one minute I'd find one product I don't like from her. So if you ever thought about it, yeah, do some monthly boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be an awesome way that we can get this product out so everybody can try it. Because it's well worth it. See how you can see just from me talking, it is slowly diminishing the bubbles. Now, I've been on here for 11 minutes, and 11 minutes later, that's what we have. If you rewind back to the beginning of the video and see the height, and then come back, you'll see what I meant by this is a bath bomb all in one. The bling bomb was all in one, and all of the bath bombs are like f uh, foamers. They're not just plain fizzies. They are foamers. And uh, they're all bubble bombs. Like, you know, like I, every bomb said bubble bomb, bubble bomb, bubble bomb on it. So every bomb will make you some bubbles. I like his little, little collection up here. It looks cute. <laughs> and now he's got his hopper duck. <laughs> I don't remember what Richie called it. I think he called it the, the hop duck or grass duck or grasshopper duck. It's a grasshopper duck. And uh, Tammy sent it on top of the Play-Doh. Uh, the bubble dough. Um... Yeah, well, that's it, man. I, I'm really fucking, like, taken back of, you know, in all honesty, I'm I'm an asshole at times, and I didn't think it was going to be that good. And I'm like, you know something, the price is a little up there, but, you know, I'll try it out, I'll see what happens, because, and the jewelry, the jewelry is not fucking cheap shit. It's not the cheap crap that I was getting out of fragrant jewels. It's good shit. Like, good shit, you know? Like, it's good shit that you would be proud to put on your fingers and walk around with, or put on your wrist and walk around with. Shit, I should've got house cast from hell to put my damn bracelet on for me. I'll ask Richard to do it later. But, and I don't own any, any bracelet things like that because I have, I am a bigger girl and I have a fatter hand, wrist, things like that. So I don't buy many bracelet things like that because none of them will ever fit. This thing has the links on it though and it is a real leather, that's, that's leather, it's braided leather. And I can hook up more charms on it. So the next bling bombs that I get from her, I want to get like charm bombs so I can get more charms to put on it. Um, also, I mean, I can jump on other sites, too, and get just the charms itself, so I can add to it. Like, uh, even if I wanted to go with cheaper charm, charms, which she's got pretty hefty, pretty heavy, heavy-duty charms, I can go and get cheaper charms and add on to her bracelet set of her bling bombs from Shop Miss A, because she's got charms for a dollar, but they're not as nice as these. Um, these bombs are pretty heavy. These, uh, these charms are heavy, you know, so you know their quality. And I mean, I'm I'm so happy with her shit. I can't tell you guys enough. But all right, enough of me bitching. I mean, not enough of me uh, ranting and uh, going off how crazy I am. Not bitching because I'm more than happy. But I'm hitting the 15 minute mark. I gotta I gotta follow that video that you told me to watch and uh, follow the steps to go ahead and switch it so I can have some longer videos so I can sit here and bullshit and talk to you guys a little bit longer. Cause uh, this is now my mommy time and I'm all alone now and I'm bored. So. <laughs> Um, I'm going to break into my Secret Garden soap again because I have been scrubbing with that thing and wow, man, I love that scent. That is an awesome scent. <sighs> Tammy, we got to get a bomb in that Secret Garden smell. We do. We got to get a bath bomb in that. I want to bathe in it. I want to scrub in it. I want to live in it. Ooh, we got to, we, oh man, we got to get that scent everywhere. That scent's amazing. Okay, guys, I love you all. Um, I'm losing my mind here with all these products. I have them right next to me, so I'm like just digging through them. Um, I've put the... Lip scrub on like 20 times. But we're almost at 15. Alright, I love you all. Good night. And yep, most definitely order from her. She's amazing.